Hey, thank you for watching this tutorial. My name is Nick and today I will teach you how to create your first Spigot plugin. Let's get started. Click on File, New Project, and click on New if you don't have a Project SDK set. Click on New, JDK, and select your Java Development Kit, which mine is here. Usually it's in your program files, so Java, and then it should be right there. Alright, click on next, click on next again, and now we want to name our project. So this obviously is our first plugin, so I'm going to call it first plugin. I'm going to open it in a new window. So first of all, we will need to add the Spigot jar to the project, its dependencies. We can open the project structure dialog by pressing Control shift alt s all right, next we will have to go to modules, and then you can see the plugin there, and click on dependencies, but it, but it, it should be right there, and then click on dependencies, press um, alt insert, and then select jars or directors. Now you will need to select your spigot jar, mine is located in, let me find it, here. Okay, press OK. Done. Okay. Next, we need to go to Artifacts. Press on Plus and Edit Jar from Modules with Dependencies. All right, and just press OK. Now we get, we're going to delete this. So just select the Spigot Jar, the extracted Spigot Jar, and press Delete and then Apply. And that should be it. Now we can get started. So the first thing we're going to create is a package. So right click your source folder and click new package. I'm going to call it me.hims.firstplugin. All lowercase. Packages, package names are all lowercase. Then right click the package and click on new Java clause. Now the clause name, first word, uppercase, the first letter, uppercase. And if there, if there is another word, uppercase as well. So first plugin, both. So you see, uppercase, uppercase. This is our main clause. In Java, there is always a main clause. Without a main clause, there is simply nothing to execute. Every Spigot plugin has a plugin at YML inside of the jar. Without this, Spigot cannot load the plugin. So let's create one right now. Right click your source folder or whatever it's called it's, I think it's a folder and click on file new file call it plugin and YML all lowercase so the first thing we're gonna type is name and then we're going to put the name of your plugin so in this case this is first plugin spaces are discord if you want to use a space use an underscore so first plugin, I might do that, doesn't really matter. Alright. Next we have version, and of course this is version 0, 1.0, version 1, pretty much. Then we have um, the author, which is in this case hymns. And then we also have the description, which is just a description of the plugin. And in this case, hey. This is just not really hey. This is my first plugin, for example. And then we need to um, assign. Oops. We need to assign the main clause. So it's main. And then me dot dot first plugin your package pretty much. And then your main clause. And this is case sensitive. So if this is lowercase, it will not find it. Press Ctrl S to save it. In our main clause, we need to inherit the Java plugin clause. So Spigot knows this is our main clause. Without inheriting the Java plugin clause, Spigot will not recognize the plugin and it will fail to load. So let's inherit it by typing extends Java plugin. All right. Next we need to do is create our first, I mean a first method, which is going to be called unenable. So type public void unenable, 
and this is what's being called upon run so when your plugin is being loaded this will be called the very first so everything inside here will be executed so let's bring the message to the console hey this is my first plugin now what the get logger does is it just sends a message to the console that's all pretty much it logs it now uh, this is the get logger method is only the get logger class is only available in the main class in the class that extends java plugin or you can access it by doing bucket get logger so let's test if this works and let's see if it works accordingly so let's build it go to build and click on build artifacts let's first save this by pressing press and then let's build it and it will, it will ask first plugin and then we click on build first plugin out artifacts first plugin all right let's see if everything yeah okay. As you can see, it is working and there are no issues to be found. 